I want to get to uh, an amendment that's before the Parliament, an amendment to the Family Law Act that I don't think has got enough attention. A lot of people are worried about it. It's uh, designed with the best intentions to try and help these uh, family divisions and child custody and try and reduce incidents of domestic violence and the like. But I want to show you some of the criteria that you know for well, Pauline, will be coming out of the Act. These are the criteria that will no longer be considered when the court is deciding uh, custody of children. And one is the meaningful involvement with both parents. The other is the children's right to know both parents and spend time with both parents. Parents jointly sharing duties and care and parents agreeing on future parenting. These, these criteria will no longer be considered. That's a big worry, isn't it, Pauline? And I think a lot of men in the family court will feel that they are the ones who will miss out on time and access to their children because of this. Chris, it breaks my heart to see that the Labor Party are actually doing this, you know, by feminist groups and organisations that have been pushing their own agenda. And this was not part of the recommendations of the inquiry that I actually got up. And it's, it just hurts me immensely because I've been so involved with this. And to see this happen, yes, it will affect men more than women. But let me also tell you, there are women involved. I've spoken to women who have been denied the right to see their children, but it will affect men more so. So they want to stop men having any contact. Graham Parrott, in a discussion that I had with him in one meeting, and I said men should have a right to shed, shed you know, parental responsibility with the children. He said, no, they don't. He said women make far better parents. Now, that tells me he's nothing but a male chauvinist. He's grown up in a household. You go out to work and the women looks after the kids. And that's the attitude. And he moved before the recommendations came down on the floor of parliament to actually get rid of shared parenting. And this is what you're dealing with, Chris. You know, well, the... I've read reports over the years and surveys that have been done that it's more detrimental to children if they don't have that contact with both parents, and especially boys. They need that contact with their fathers. Otherwise, their mental health problems, and it goes on for years in their life. We have to think of the children. It's not about women's rights here. It's about the children. Yeah, now, there's fairly complicated changes to the law, but if, to summarise them, if I can summarise it correctly, you, you'll know um, that there used to be a presumption under the law. There is now a presumption under the law that the, the best scenario would be for a child to split uh, their care between both parents, that both parents have equal access. And that's now being thrown away effectively. That idea that equal access is, is best is, is no longer going to be considered. That's correct. And that was brought in by John Howard to actually have that shared parent parenting. And, you know, they're trying to say, oh, parents are confused by that. They shouldn't have 50-50 um, parental custody of the children and have a say in it. And I know fathers that they can't get the medical records of the children. They can't get their uh, children's reports because the other parent won't allow it. You know, there's so many things. And I'll tell you what's going to happen here, Chris. There will be more domestic violence. There will be more suicides. There will be more problems that are going to happen because the more you deny these great men out there who want to be fathers to the children and we are denying them that right, not only the, not only the fathers, but it's the extended families, it's the grandparents, it's extended families that will not get contact with them. And I'll say to these parents out, of there, out there, whether you're male or female, get over your, your differences, get rid of your hatred or because you want to victimise your, your former partner and think of your children because it scars them, not only now as children, but further it on in their life. Thanks, Pauline. It's a very crucial issue. We'll keep an eye on it, one that hasn't got enough attention so far. Appreciate your time. Pauline Hanson there, live from Queensland.